इज हरे कृष्ण मूवमेंट और इज कॉन अ हिंदू मूवमेंट और आर यू आर यू गाइज हिंदू See, Prabhupada himself talked about this quite a bit. Uh-huh. Again, there are the two levels apply all the time. You know, there is a Paramarthic level and there is a Vyavaharic level. Mm-hmm. So, at the Paramarthic level, we say the Hare Krishna movement or Iskon. We are following the Bhagavad Gita, and the Bhagavad Gita does say that we do not. It does not talk about any religion particularly at all. Mm-hmm. It talks about spirituality, talk about spiritual values and purposes. Mm-hmm. So, from that perspective, from the Paramarthic perspective. the bhagavad gita and its followers they transcend all religion now from a vyavaharic perspective from a practical perspective you know we are not going to call ourselves christians or muslims obviously you know if just as if, 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 this dynamic applies you know if you go to a holy dham like vrindavan mm-hmm. you know one of the offenses the aparads to the dham it is said is we should not consider the dham to be like a ordinary place Mm-hmm. and that means we should not consider the dham to be like any other place in the world so we cannot say that it is in india vrindavan or ayodhya we can't say they are in india because they are they are spiritual they are uh, existing at a higher level of reality the divine has manifested over there at the same time if you are going to place it in the geographical map somewhere mm-hmm. we are not going to place it in pakistan or china or russia we going to it is going to be placed in india itself so similarly within the vyavaharic aspect very can as analysis yes the uh, hari krishna movement is within the broad family of uh, broad family of traditions that is identified as hinduism okay i asked this because uh, at some place in europe or somewhere in the airport uh, hari krishna was marked as a separate religion and hindu was marked as a separate religion that's that that was happening but i uh, oh, that's why okay. i asked <laughs> that you guys are like is is this con trying to be a separate path or separate panth uh, from uh, hinduism no i said it prabhupada has made both kinds of statements mm-hmm. and subsequent his followers also we have explained this in different ways but i said that it depends there's no no concerted movement to say in terms of religious demographics mm-hmm. to distance is gone from hinduism i am not aware of any such movement i don't think it is there at all okay 